Imagine a tank so agile it can traverse battlefields with ease, a machine designed to deliver devastating firepower without costing a fortune. What if I told you there was a combat vehicle created not for the superpowers of the world, but for nations seeking an affordable, efficient, and powerful alternative? Meet the Stingray Light Tank, a marvel of engineering that changed how militaries approach armored warfare. But this isn't just any tank, it's a machine with a fascinating story that blends innovation, practicality, and purpose. Stick around, and by the end of this video, you'll know why the Stingray has captured the imagination of military enthusiasts worldwide. The story of the Stingray light tank begins in the 1980s when Cadillac Gage, now known as Textron Marine and Land Systems, set out on an ambitious mission. They wanted to design a tank that wouldn't break the bank, but could still pack a serious punch on the battlefield. The goal was to offer something unique, a light tank that combined mobility, firepower, and affordability. Unlike massive and expensive main battle tanks like the M1 Abrams or Leopard 2, the Stingray targeted countries with limited defense budgets. Picture this, a compact, nimble tank designed to outmaneuver its heavier counterparts. The Stingray was built to excel in reconnaissance and fire support roles. Its creators knew that many nations couldn't afford to maintain high-end tanks, so they crafted a machine that used off-the-shelf components, reducing costs without sacrificing effectiveness. By 1983, the design was in full swing, and just a year later, Cadillac Gage had a prototype ready for testing. The Stingray wasn't just a concept, it was a functional battle-ready vehicle that would soon prove its worth. Thailand became the first and only country to fully embrace the Stingray, placing an order for 106 units after seeing its capabilities firsthand. Let's delve into the Stingray's design. At its heart is a crew of four, a driver, a commander, a gunner, and a loader. The team operates in a layout that prioritizes efficiency and teamwork. The driver sits at the front, while the commander, gunner, and loader are stationed in the turret, giving them full control over the vehicle's formidable weaponry. Speaking of weaponry, the Stingray is armed with the Royal Ordnance 105mm L7A3 rifled main gun. This gun was a legendary piece of equipment during the Cold War, capable of firing a variety of NATO standard projectiles. While it's not as powerful as the larger caliber guns found on modern tanks, it's still highly effective in many combat scenarios. Imagine a tank that can handle itself in a firefight while staying light enough to avoid becoming a massive target. To back up the main gun, the Stingray includes a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a 12.7mm heavy machine gun mounted on the turret. These weapons are perfect for dealing with infantry, lightly armored vehicles, and even low-flying aircraft. And when it comes to protecting itself, the Stingray has smoke grenade dischargers, allowing it to create a smoke screen and reposition safely during battle. But firepower isn't the only thing that makes the Stingray stand out. Its lightweight design allows it to be transported by aircraft like the Lockheed C-130 Hercules, giving it unparalleled mobility. Whether it's being deployed to remote locations or navigating difficult terrain, the Stingray's versatility is one of its greatest strengths. The Stingray's armor is made from welded steel, providing protection against small arms fire and shrapnel. While it can't match the heavy armor of main battle tanks, it's sufficient for the reconnaissance and support roles it was designed for. Optional applique armor can be added for additional protection, though this comes at the cost of reduced mobility. Let's talk about performance. The Stingray is powered by a Detroit Diesel Allison 8V 92TA engine, generating 535 horsepower. This engine propels the tank to speeds of up to 70 km per hour on roads, with an operational range of 480 km. Imagine a tank that can move this quickly while carrying such potent weaponry, it's a game-changer for military operations. In 1986, Thailand received a prototype for evaluation, and it didn't take long for them to be convinced. By 1988, production was underway, and deliveries began shortly thereafter. The Stingray proved to be a valuable asset for the Royal Thai Army, and it remains in service to this day. Over the years, the Stingray has undergone upgrades to stay relevant. The Stingray II, introduced in 1996, featured significant improvements. These included a digital fire control system, a more powerful 550 horsepower engine, and enhanced weaponry. The Stingray II also added optional explosive reactive armor and modern targeting systems like thermal imaging and laser rangefinders. The Stingray II wasn't just a light tank, it was a versatile armored fighting vehicle, AFV. With these upgrades, it could take on a broader range of missions, from direct combat to supporting roles. However, despite these advancements, 
the Stingray 2 didn't achieve widespread adoption, and Thailand remains its primary user. Why didn't more countries adopt the Stingray? One reason could be the shift in military strategies, with many nations focusing on heavier, more advanced tanks. Additionally, the rise of asymmetrical warfare and advancements in anti-tank weapons may have made light tanks like the Stingray less appealing. Still, the Stingray's legacy is undeniable. It represents an era of innovation and practicality, where engineering solutions were tailored to meet the unique needs of smaller nations. Its story is a testament to the ingenuity of its creators and the strategic thinking of the countries that saw its potential. As we wrap up, consider this. The Stingray may not be the most famous tank in the world, but it's a symbol of how military technology can be adapted to serve diverse needs. Its design strikes a balance between cost, performance, and capability, making it a fascinating case study in armored vehicle development. If you've enjoyed learning about the Stingray light tank and its incredible journey, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel for more stories about military technology and engineering marvels. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the Stingray? Could it still find a place on today's battlefields? Let's discuss. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.